Bobby, y'all. So we are about to hop into this RDC World 1. This is Black People in Anime. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. Black people don't watch no damn anime. I just don't understand. I feel like black people watch anime, but don't like to admit it because it's seen as lame, nerdy, or you can't get hoes if you watch it. First off, what nigga hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z? Show me a nigga who hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z. And if you say you haven't, I'm just gonna assume you lie because I know for a fact it's scientifically proven that 100% of niggas watch Dragon Ball Z. It's like you come out knowing what that shit is. <laughs> like you born in the hospital and somebody just put that shit on the TV. So you probably thinking, okay, that's Dragon Ball Z, so it don't really count as an anime. Well, what about Boondocks? Boondocks is basically reference from anime. So, you know, without anime, no boondocks. And niggas love boondocks. You you can't, you ain't gonna tell me that. You not gonna tell me niggas don't love boondocks, nigga. <laughs> y'all y'all quote boondocks every fucking day of your life if you could. So, basically what I'm saying is, you watch anime, do you get hoes? Of course you do, because every nigga from the age 23 and down is gonna say they get hoes. I'm 22 and guess what, baby? I get hoes. And I ain't gonna say it again, but listen, if my hoes is watching, listen. I don't get hoes. Well, if my girl is watching, I don't get hoes. Okay. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is watching anime is not gonna stop nobody from getting hoes. You is gonna stop you from getting hoes. You shouldn't have to hide what you like watching from anybody. Like, if I bring a girl through the door right now and she see an anime post on the wall and she talking about, you like watching all that anime shit? I don't give a fuck how far she is. She can look like Holly Berry's little sister and I'm gonna tell her, slide on up out of here, baby, and the Uber will pick you up outside. When you call it though, cause if you ain't finna come in my house disrespect the shit I like. Like it's finna be 2017 and we still judging people? That's God's <laughs> job. That's why you don't got a job, cause you too busy doing God's job. Stop judging people, stop it. So my fellow black kings and queens, brothers and sisters, I'm really talking to everybody right now, but I'm just addressing this to black people. You don't have to be ashamed to watch anime. You can watch more than just sports, reality shows, boys in the hood. And, and if you feel like niggas gonna judge you, you're right. Niggas gonna judge your ass regardless. And if you're black, you're gonna get double judged. But hey, right. it, you know what I'm saying? In my Rick Ross voice, it is what it is. No, for real though. All jokes aside, listen to this. People will call anime fake, childish, and say you too old for that shit, but they watching love and hip hop. Boy, if you don't get, stop it. If you don't get the fuck, stop it. Just stop it. Uh, love yeah. and hip hop is a goddamn real life skit. It's about as real as Anime, you crazy ass niggas. <laughs> and honestly, that's all TV is really nowadays, reality shows. So yeah, I'ma watch anime. They box every other episode that's entertaining to watch and low key, they give you life lessons if you really paying attention. Black people, you know racist stuff it's happens to us every message. day. They even address racism in anime sometimes. Check this out. All anime ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? That anime in particular does teach some life lessons at times and it's childish at other times, fight at other times, funny at other times, you know what I'm saying? But there there are also some weird ass anime out there, like, you know, but we don't we don't venture to that side. You know, me and RDC, we don't you know. That side. There's enough anime shows out there that have normal things in it. I'm not just talking about Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. There's plenty of other big shows that have the same morals as those shows. Uh, like My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, Former Alchemist, Tokyo Ghoul, uh, Bleach, Death Prey, Fairy Tale, and some of these DVDs from Funimation. Oh my god, look at his collection. Wow. That's really an app from Funimation. Look how I slid that in there though, real subtle. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, just go download their app on your Xbox and PlayStation and, you know, watch some stuff on there. It's only like, what, eight, nine dollars a month. Just go check it out. You know what I'm saying? You probably like what you see. And, you know, a lot of these free anime sites, they're going down. But whatever. Back to what I was saying. 
But no, for real, I do understand why some black people don't want to admit to watching anime. We got people running around here Naruto style, running the class Naruto style, trying to turn Super Saiyan in fights. But I mean, <clears throat> if they want to get dropped, let them get dropped. Ain't nobody told you to try to be like Goku during a fight or Gar during a fight. I don't, you know you know you couldn't do that shit, so don't, why would you try? You wanted to get dropped. At the end of the day, that's what you wanted. You don't go to the movies and do what, try to do what you do in the movies, right? No. Okay, then. I don't know why you try to do it there. Basically, I'm just saying... You can be that clean, cool ass hooper that get hoes and watches anime. Or does things related to anime, like in the anime industry. Or if you want to be the black educated man who loves only one woman. Or still get hoes. You could be that and watch anime. Or be in an industry with something anime related. I'm just saying you could be anything you want to be. Black people, we. We, we expanding. We doing just more than, you know, sports rapping. We got to expand more. We got a black man in the White House. He about to leave, but he was there. He was in the White House. Let's say that the anime is Japanese house. We, we going to go step in there and see what's going on. And I'm just going to be the first one with the foot in. And then y'all just hold the door for y'all too. I got y'all, man. And then uh, basically just be yourself. That's all I'm saying. Did I hear everything in this video? Did I hit all the points? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit that. Hit that. Shorty, you ain't gotta worry about I mean, one thing that I can admit that I have noticed is that anime is kind of more acceptable socially. Like, you hear about it in, in music more. Um, Megan Thee Stallion talks about it more, or not more, but talks about it. And I noticed, too, like, people seem to have... There's, there's more of a conversation around anime that I've noticed that it definitely has become more socially acceptable. Um... He had mentioned some like weird shows. There was this one really weird show that I remember as a kid. I never really watched it like that. Um, one was like Fooly Cooly and the other one, <laughs> um, Bo 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 Bo. Like I remember those two shows were like really weird. To not saying that they were bad. It's not a bad thing, but they're like kind of weird. They were different from some of the other animes that I have watched. But yeah, this was a really good video. He spoke nothing but facts. Um, anime is definitely more like acceptable in conversations. Like you could say, hey, I watch Dragon Ball Z or I watch this and I watch that and nobody re like really judges you anymore. You don't even get called like a, a nerd for it. Cause like you would get called a nerd or geek or lame for watching like anime and shit. But people will like actually sit and have a conversation with you about like different shows and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye!